Brother Yusuf, is it correct? Brother Yusuf, correct. Um, tell me, or tell us actually, um, uh, where, how, I mean, how a white guy, what, what is the white guy doing in Malaysia in the first place, and how you uh, get involved with uh, the Perkin, uh, so that uh, we'll get an idea of why you are here, Okay, so I'm originally uh, from Europe, but I'm known as a, a traveler, so I, I actually uh, left my home country, uh, the Netherlands, in 19, uh, 1993, uh -huh. and uh, left for then Switzerland, London, and eventually Australia for a long time. Ended up doing business here, uh, so my sort of my direct exposure to Islam uh, was in Malaysia, and uh, eventually, uh, ended from being a commercial, uh, more institutional banker guy to into the Dawa scene. Wow. Uh, reverted about uh, three years ago. And, uh, so that's I, uh, recently? Oh. Yeah, very recently. Uh, and it went, uh, that reversion went in a, in a very quiet way. It was very focused for me, uh, but without a lot of knowledge. So most of the knowledge came after. Uh, and, uh, and phone calls from, uh, from Perkin, who I work for now, yeah. uh, they, uh, they urged me to uh, not only become a volunteer, but also become full-time involved in Dawa. Nice, yeah. So after, uh, after some consideration, uh, I, I took that role. And uh, the climate I'm already used to, because I lived in Queensland for a while, so and you asked why a white guy would, uh, would also <laughs> raise it. So the, the weather is easy, uh, the, uh, on me, the, uh, the, the food is easy on me. Because Friendly I, food. Yeah, well, I, I grew up with Indonesians around me in Holland, so, oh, okay. so I, I like the, the variety of food. And uh, the people here, uh, yeah, they're also great because it's, it's multicultural. And in uh, where I come from, in, in Holland, it's, it's okay. typically the same uh, because we have the Indonesians since 1948. We have the Turkish and Moroccan people uh, as Dutch citizens oh, since really? the 60s. I see. And on top of that, so my, another colony was Suriname. Uh, oh, so we, we, have, we also have a very <laughs> multicultural society. So, so I like I like the people, I like the food, I like the climate, um, and I love Islam. So where else should I go? Everything was a, it's like all there. A, a correct ingredient. It's the, yes, exactly, exactly. What is it actually the meaning of volunteering in Europe? Yeah, volunteering is a very important part of 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 of, uh, of Dawa of propagation, um, and and I was surprised when uh, when Perkin called me and to uh, to volunteer for particular programs. Uh, I started writing uh, proposals and had meetings with them and, uh, and and presented it, and we accepted some of the proposals to, as programs. Mm -hmm. And then they asked me at the end of the month, like, okay, what's your bank account? And I went like, well, what for? <laughs> and it's like, no, we want to pay you. They said, but I, I, th I thought it was a volunteer. Okay, so now you get to the, the crux is that volunteerism in, in Europe uh, is different. Is the, the mindset is, is if, if you volunteer for something, if it's UNICEF or if it's uh, well, whatever cause whatever. it is, mm -hmm. uh, you dedicate your time for that and you will, you will show up, you will show up on time. Mm -hmm. and you will see it, you regard it, as if you had the job. If you, do, if you feel you cannot do it that way, you wouldn't volunteer because you, you would not uh, uh, do justice to the cause. Okay, so that's, uh, having worked here for Mercy Mission, New Muslim Care, uh, for Perkin, that is different here. Uh, different is that people will uh, want to give it a go, will try to be a volunteer, mm -hmm. but sometimes uh, there's a, a bit of a lack of, of, uh, of dedication. Uh, it's, uh, I sometimes, uh, uh, remind myself, but but, but uh, it's a comparison uh, to when I f when I first reverted and I wanted to learn about Islam. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I went to the masjid. Uh, I, w I talked to the imam, and he said, "Come back next week. Uh, now learn about mm -hmm. learn about uh, Al Fatiha, and you recite it in front of the two imams here and two ustads, and we'll get the program going that way." And at the end, he said, "Before I left, he said, Inshallah." And then uh, the next week I came and they were not there. <laughs> and that was the first, the first time I realized that the Malaysian use of inshallah is sometimes <laughs> incorrect. Unfortunately. It's like, yeah, it's not like, so the intention. So I think in volunteerism, if your intention is there, mm -hmm. and it is inshallah in the correct way, uh, then yeah, it becomes and, and the and European style. You, you didn't take shahada yet? 
Yeah. I had taken a shot already. <laughs> taken a shot already, yes. So, uh, no, so that was just to, to learn uh, uh, Al-Fatihah yeah. and to get the process starting of learning how to I pray. Okay. So that's, uh, yeah, that, that really uh, shows uh, the difference in, in, like, you know, if, if, if you become a volunteer uh, that does it really for the sake of Allah, Mm -hmm. Right and 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 see it uh, not as like you know okay maybe it's a little bit of additional money on the side that's fine mm -hmm. like you know it will, it will take care of some expenses at least but your time is is needed right? it's it's for this course so uh, to not show up on time or not to show up at all without a phone call and I've had it happen to me many times mm -hmm. uh, you know creates uh, tension it creates people people that are at the job not the the, the co-workers but the people that are waiting for your service. Mm -hmm. And this, uh, yeah, this, 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 this creates uh, a bigger problem. Um, so that's why in Europe we also like, you know, if you can't make it, that's fine. Tell us in advance or don't volunteer, that's fine. But if you do, please dedicate your time and, and, like, you know, and believe that we are there for you, you are there for us. Yeah. So it's, you know, we're all in it together. So Bob too, I guess it's all set to Bob. Kalau kita tengok negara di Eropa, walaupun dia majority bukan Islam, tapi dia punya cara apa tu conduct lebih islamik daripada kita yang dilahirkan muslim majority brother Yusuf as the last word to those Malaysian out there who actually wanted to volunteer but skeptical what would be your last words to them okay it's it's a request please assist in the programs uh, it's good for, for the people that are uh, obviously attending the program, for the fellow Malaysians, but most important, it's good for you. Well, thank you very much for your time. Uh, just tell us about yourself a bit and where you're from and uh, how did you get involved with this program you are the most to have done? Uh, my name is Abdullah, I'm from Malaysia, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm from <laughs> in India and uh, I came here in 2009 for my uh, future education after my 12th grade, which is SPM. So after that, I had interest in marketing, so I came here in Malaysia. And being a Muslim country, I choose this place also in the perspective of economical in, uh, in the education level. So while coming here, I get to learn and get the degree from basically from Western country. So at the end of the day, I'm getting a certificate from outside. So that's why I choose one of the uh, thing about Malaysia. So after coming here, almost after seven years, then I I met a friend who who was from Venezuela, oh. and after meeting him, and he was a reward. So uh, from him, from his actions, and with his teachings, and being also a roommate of mine. Oh, I so I used to ask myself that why. Like being a non-Muslim before, and he just became a Muslim. But he is so active, and you, you, you saw his enthusiasm. Enthusiasm, basically, yeah. In in him, and he was my roommate. So I I was feel more touched by his story and practically wow. by seeing him every day. Yeah. Is the way of his his encountering with his uh, surrounding. Mm. So that touched me uh, quite much, and sure. so. Being a, and, born Muslim, right? being a born Muslim, being a born Muslim, and having much more knowledge than me myself, born in a Muslim. <laughs> so at the end of the day, I, I know about his. He came from uh, China, and after that, he came here in the. Uh, basically, he was in MTG program, which is Masjid Tour Guide program. <laughs> he also. Yeah. So with being a Muslim by name is. After that, I understand being a Muslim by name is not enough. We have to do something so that we ourselves can be better and make our surroundings better <coughs> as being a Muslim. That, that, at least what we can do from the study. So Alhamdulillah, until now it's uh, been five months in uh, MPG. Yeah. I'm about in my final project in marketing. So after that, I am planning to still stay here. 
if I get a good uh, opportunity. But my main aim is to stay here and uh, be around with the Masjid Tour Guide program. So I can connect each and every day if I can give. I love to give every time. So I can connect with more, more non-Muslims and get to know about, I mean, to uh, get more information and refresh myself every day about my Iman. You speak uh, Malay? A bit Malay? I speak Malay. Yeah. Lebih kurang sikit. Lebih kurang. Ah. Okay. Yeah. One, one sentence or one phrase, what yeah. would you say in Malay to the born Muslims in Malaysia about the MTG program? Assalamualaikum. Tuan-tuan dan puan-puan. <laughs> Sila datang ke MTG program. Ini lebih baik untuk iman kita. Dan saudara kita so uh, terima kasih dan salam satu Malaysia <laughs> <laughs> okay. terima kasih banyak assalamualaikum